crayfish shoes okay now these ones i really wanted to talk about because now that you're you know getting more clarity about what shoes you want to wear what shoes you don't um what shoes you really want to wear on what path going your own way um you're going to find that there's going to be some people wearing their crayfish shoes and let me explain what that is for you so in south africa um i used to go camping um at university with a whole bunch of friends and the guys would go off um with their crayfish license and get live crayfish um and we as the ladies would go and pick mussels and we would have big barbecues on the beach i mean it was fantastic really you know fresh you know seafood straight out you know don't even know if you can still do that anymore but anyway um now, one of the things, unfortunately, I don't actually eat crayfish anymore, but one of the things with um, the, the way they cook crayfish is actually really quite, well, I find it quite sadistic. <laughs> um, they actually put the crayfish in the hot water, boiling water. So they boil the water and they put the crayfish in, or sometimes they put the crayfish in and they turn the heat up, okay? Um, depending on, on which way they want to do it. But either way, what happens is um, they put these live crayfish in there and it's just awful apparently you know like you can actually hear them screaming and I was Ooh, you know so it's, it's all a bit much sorry if I'm putting you off here but the whole point of it is is that one of the things that they do is the the crayfish that try to get out of the pot the other crayfish actually hang on to them and pull them back in now I find that phenomenal okay so they actually hang on to another crayfish to make sure that they you know they stay inside the pot with them and cook okay not great not great mate so there are crayfish shoe wearers out there and i want you to be aware of it so this is what's going to happen i'm giving you the heads up when you start going on your own journey wearing your own shoes on your own path going on your own way the crayfish shoe wearers come boy <laughs> come lady they come my friend this is just what happens and what they want to do is you're not playing to the rules that you've played with all your life. You're not playing the game like they want you to play it. No, no, no. And if you remember, um, I think I've done the Spanish dancing shoes. I'll have to revisit that if I haven't. But I call them the Spanish dancing shoes where you, you know, they, they throw their toys out of the cot and you know you think of a little kid um throwing their tantrum a two-year-old you know the terrible twos they call them don't they where they they're stomping their shoes like that and they're just creating and creating and creating because they want things their own way they don't want it done that way they want it their way and if you've been playing a game without you even consciously aware of it you may have been consciously consciously or even subconsciously engaged in a game walking on a path going down a, you know a path that you don't want wearing shoes you don't want going in a direction you don't want and you suddenly have woken up you've suddenly come to me and you've like you've listened to shoe psychology and you go holy crap <laughs> what the hell i've wasted you know half my life wearing these shoes and i've had that you know where folks have come into me beautiful ladies have said I've done my whole life, I've been walking this way. I wish I had met you sooner, you know? And this is the whole point is that if we can start this journey sooner, how amazing is it going to be? And it, look, to be honest, it doesn't really matter where you are when you join me on the path. You know, when when you get onto your path, doesn't matter what age. I've had people in their 60s and 70s that have made major turnarounds, like massive, you know? And if anything, they get more motivated because they go, I've got limited time, you know? So it doesn't matter the fact that you've been brave enough and you've woken up to the fact or maybe it's just that, you know, you, you wouldn't have been ready, you know, sooner. This is another thing, you know, this is a you've got to be aware of that too. It's like, you know, you may have had several teachers and for some reason you hear me. You know and it's like because you're ready you're ready the when you're ready the teacher will appear and that might be me and it may not be me you know this is yeah, i don't really mind where you learn from if i'm that person fantastic and I, I thank god that you know that's what's happened but this is the whole point is that you go wow you know i'm i've woken up now i, I realize i've done I, I these are shoes that i don't want these are this is not the way i want my, my life to run i don't want to be 
walking on this path with those people anymore you know it's just it's it doesn't sync with my soul you know uh, I, I want to do my soul to soul journey my s-o-l-e to s-o-u-l journey with the vicky jane which is what my whole vicky jane facebook group is about is the that soul to soul journey it's like how do we get you onto your path in your shoes going your own way and this is the thing with the crayfish unfortunately the the herd the you know the people that you've been playing that game subconsciously with without realizing you may have been conditioned you may have you know wanted to wear it at uh, those shoes at some point in your life in order to feel accepted loved whatever fill in the gap you know whatever your motivation was to to perform to go that way that didn't work for you and now you've woken up you know hallelujah you know thank thank god that you that you've woken up because i got to tell you there's a lot of zombies out there a lot of zombies you know where those dare i say those um you know three hidden shoe types that i talk about that free quiz if you haven't taken it hit the link it's it'll be in the comments box so hey? um go take that free quiz because when you've been if you haven't already done it when you find out what those subconscious games are those those internal programs that have run your life to this day without you knowing without you even being aware of it and you go holy smoke i didn't know even i did no clue that that was actually happening now you're clear now you okay so now you've taken the journey you've worked out a lot and there's more these heaps to come still honestly we're always on a journey of learning and there's all types of different shoes and it's like these are the ones i want these are the don't da, 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 and you're on your own path and now you game on let's go down there and suddenly you get a crayfish grabs you by your tail or your leg and tries to pull you back onto the other path tries to pull you back into the pot that didn't work for you before you know that now it's being consciously aware that they will do that and I can tell you right now they will why because it's the herd likes to herd that's what they do you know herd is herd is herd that <laughs> they feel comfortable in the herd they want to be part of the herd if you're stepping out of the herd they go uh-uh no 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 no. we want you back over here that's not how it's been done sister you know like our family don't do it that way we've always done it this way well you know what honey not not happening anymore you know uh, i'm not comfortable or it's not working for me or i feel so miserable or I, if you wanted me to be truly happy then you'll be fine with me doing this and there's a herd over here you know this is this is a um, a nurturing herd this is a herd of people this is a crowd of people that um, allow you to be who you fully are be the very best version of who you are be the you know to help you step up to the next level help you on your journey to be the very best that you could possibly be who the hell who wouldn't want that you know if they really wanted you to do that they're not going to be a crayfish are they they're not you know, they're gonna they they're not gonna go right. I'm gonna push you out and push you back into that pot over there. They're gonna say, hey, come sister, let's walk together. You know, put your super soul sisters on, which is what the Facebook super soul sister group is all about. It's about, you know, I may not understand what your path is exactly, but I can still be there to support you. You know, and it's about being there for each other, nurturing each other, not being the crayfish. But there are going to be crayfish that are going to want to pull you back in there it can be partners dare i say i hate to say it but it does happen you know we make decisions when we when you know earlier on in life um i've had one quite recently where it was just like we're just such different people you know i don't even know how we got together i had another one um not so long ago where she was like do you know i i, I think we just got married because it was what everybody else was doing you know so you know and they, and then they realize it's like i oh, kind of like got a few kids now in the mix and things are a bit more complicated to move on but you know do you don't get sucked into that crayfish pot they are going to be there they are going to hit you up with that they're going to make they're going to do guilt they're going to they're going to do their spanish dancing shoes they're going you know they're going to get angry with you some of them will ostracize they will say right that's it you're cut off you know i'm not having you you know do x y and z really depends on what you, you know your path choice is um but just be aware of of the fact that there is going to be a reaction and that you, that you now know 
you know that the, the crayfish is trying to pull you back into the pot and you just go no thank you um i still want to wear these shoes and you know you don't uh, it's you get your what and how shoes you know you just go do you know what i'm uh i really thank you i know that you're coming from a place of concern or whatever it is but here at the end of the day these are the shoes that i actually want to wear now just a pricey here i just like a um a sidestep here i do want to say I'm promoting this way of living for positive nurturing and where there is an intention for good, okay? Not where there is self-harm or harm to others. So I'm not giving license to people going, well, I want to do it. Vicky Jane said I can do it this way and, you know, um, I can drink and I can do drugs and I can do... I'm not saying that. That, that is not what I'm talking about here. What I'm talking about is you finding your soul source ambition, finding out what that is, and then going, these are the shoes that I need to wear them, and this is the crowd of people that I'm doing it with. This is the healthy nurturing, be the very best that you possibly can be in this lifetime. Okay, and then whilst you're doing that, how, how you can actually help and support others as well, because it's not just about you. You know, we're in a in the world where there's relationship and it's a two way junction. You know, you've got to give as much as you, you get. Okay, and I, I'm, I opt for give more because the more you give, you're going to get 10 times back if you do that. You know, like just from the karma perspective, if you believe in any of that, but the more you give out the more you will get back so um be aware of the crayfish shoes okay and if you're one of those shoe wearers you might wonder why you're doing that maybe you want to visit some other videos and you can learn and unlearn that because um yeah you know you just learned i've been cooked right who wants that? Oh. Okay. All right. Hope you found that useful. Um, if you've got any questions about that or you're struggling with people that are trying to keep you in that crayfish pot, do hashtag crayfish to me in the Facebook um, group. Okay. Um, if you're not already in it, um, if you've got a particular scenario, I'll pick it up in a, if I can get to all the questions, um, in the shoes of what's really going on either live sessions that I'm um, uh, doing and recording. So, you can get your your answers there all right hope you found that useful namaste